Y'all ready for the Trump won the election yeehaw? Here it goes, y'all. President Trump is not happy that some Republicans are recognizing Joe Biden's victory and calling him president-elect. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell took to the Senate floor Tuesday to say what's been clear for nearly six weeks. I want to congratulate President-elect Joe Biden. But McConnell acknowledging the political reality did not go over well with President Trump. The president slamming McConnell on Twitter, posting a link to an article about his allies turning on the Senate GOP leader and adding his own message, writing, quote, too soon to give up. Republican Party must finally learn to fight. We petition the courts and we ask, Lord, that as it is written in the books of heaven, as it has been ordained in the councils of heaven, that President Donald J. Trump shall be reset and shall be reseated as the President of the United States of America. You, Lord, will arise and you will cause my president, my president, Donald J. Trump, to be reset and to be reseated, Jesus. Would you grant that it would be done, Lord? They keep saying it's over, it's over, it's over, but it is not. You see, the left and the mainstream media will tell you, Joe Biden is president-elect and he has been, except the results, why won't you submit? Well, the reality is he's not. The media has been saying endlessly president-elect. Chris Wallace corrected a guest on the show saying, er, it's president-elect Joe Biden. If I was on there, I'd be like, excuse me, what is president-elect? Define it for me. Thus, Joe Biden is not president-elect. And while it is one of the most significant days in the electoral process, it is not the end. This sounds to me like a massive victory for Donald Trump. It's not over. The lawsuits clearly continued. I don't know uh, where and when this finally stops because a lot of people thought it was election day and it's not. And so long as Donald Trump is refusing to back down, well, then the race isn't over. They keep saying it's over, it's over, it's over, but it is not. God bless America, everybody. Guess what? It's a game changer. Trump's going to win the election. The alternative electoral voters have already voted for Trump in several states. Then it's going to go to Congress, and Mike Pence is going to preside over that. So we're going to win, baby. I just wanted you to hear it first from Jim in the truck right out here, driving across the fruited plain in the name of Jesus Christ, the only name. Anyway, have a blessed day, man. That's the best news you're going to hear. This is a unprecedented, amazing thing. I just did a prayer for Trump and look what happened. Look me in my eyes, you loony liberals. Do I look like I'm done? Oh, no, I'm not. I just got started. <laughs> you think I'm about to sit back? You think I'm about to give up? You think I'm about to disappear and walk away because y'all cheated? Oh, no. This fight is not over. Who told you it was over? I didn't tell you that. And if I didn't tell you it was over, then it's not over. Please believe me. This is not about to just slide. Y'all are not about to just get away with this. No, it's not happening, Captain. No, 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 no. This is what it comes down to, guys. It's you either stand with the Constitution or you don't. And all these people are revealing day by day whether they stand with the Constitution I wonder if the Supreme Court does, because there was clear constitutional laws broken in Pennsylvania, in Georgia, in Michigan, in Wisconsin, but they didn't even want to have a hearing about it. That is good versus evil. I mean, right now, I mean, you could also say it's, it's, it's freedom versus no freedom.
Still breaking, seven states have chosen a slate of electors for both Joe Biden and President Trump. They are Pennsylvania, Georgia, Michigan, Wisconsin, Arizona, Nevada, and New Mexico. Now, if the House and the Senate cannot agree on which elector is to accept, an untested constitutional procedure could result in each state being given one vote, which they would allocate to either Biden or Trump. And since the Republicans hold 26 of 50 state houses, there would exist at least the mathematical possibility that President Trump could be named the constitutionally elected president. However, if the electoral process isn't completed by January 20th, get ready, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi would be sworn in as the new president. Ilya, now that the Electoral College has voted, does the president acknowledge that Joe Biden is the president-elect? Does he have any plans to invite him here to the White House? Um, the president is still involved in ongoing litigation related to the election. Uh, yesterday's vote was one step in the constitutional process, so I will leave that to him and refer you to the campaign for more on that litigation. What, what is his reaction to uh, Leader McConnell today congratulating Joe Biden and calling him the president a lot? I haven't gotten the president's reaction to that yet, but the president, um, again, is pursuing ongoing litigation, would refer you to the campaign for further. What's the uh, does the president intend to run for election in 2024, and would you like to be part of that campaign? I will leave that to the president, but he's still pursuing on ongoing litigation at the moment uh, for this election. Yes. feel to be the president of the United States of America. You don't get the fucking talk in my fucking house. You stupid fuck. What'd you say to my daughter? What did you say to me? Sophie, go upstairs. I don't want you to see this. Go. Go, please. You done touching kids, huh? You done? Tell everyone, say you're done. Say I'm sorry. Say it. I'm sorry. So if Mitch McConnell wants to wake up on January 6th and be met with two of his Senate candidates all of a sudden trailing in Georgia, keep talking like this. Go out of your way to use the term congratulate if he had to and was getting pressure he could have at the very most today I will recognize I probably would have taken exception with that but the term congratulations inherently means that you are applauding and recognizing an achievement of success <laughs> Hey, liberals. Knock, knock. Who's there? Texas. Texas who? Texas, when you're done whining about the next four years, when uh, the Supreme Court rules in Donald Trump's favor and is inaugurated on January 20th. Trump 2020. Checkmate. Um, I'm going to rest easy tonight. I'm going to tell you why. Um, I don't know who needs to hear this, whether you're liberal, conservative, don't really care who you are. Um, there was 100% voter fraud in this election. It will be found out. Uh, Donald Trump will be reelected in January and he'll be your president for another four years. Y'all have a great night. Who, who said it was over? Who told you it was over? It ain't over. Look at me, stop doing what you're doing and look at me. It's not over. Do you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? It is not over. Who told y'all it was over? It ain't over. It ain't over. Who told y'all that? Why do you think that? That's, that's what I'm trying to understand. The Supreme Court didn't say it was over. They didn't say it was over. No, why y'all throwing in the towel? Huh? Pick that towel back up. Because it's not over. 
Put that towel back on your shoulder because it's not over. Matter of fact, take that towel, put it in some hot water, and put it on your face so you can wake up and realize it's not over. Look, I'd say the Supreme Court abdicated their moral responsibility, but first I have to laugh at the word moral, and second, any sentence with the word Supreme Court and abdicate gives me a stand and stiffy so I'm probably long I can knock low-flying traffic copters from the fucking sky. If a genie granted me three wishes, I'd use all fucking three to dissolve the Supreme Court, then beat his blue ass until he granted me a fucking fourth for the exact same thing. It's over, 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 it's over. It's over, it's over, it's over.